Last video, we were talking about how the campus has gone crowded this year. As it turns out, computer science and its faculty, EEMCS, are the growth leaders of the university. So we figured if there's anybody who needs to figure this out, it has to be them. In this video, we're interviewing the real admins behind this evolving network. And they got some real big data in their central processing unit. I have no idea what I'm talking about. Roll the interview! Then where is this growth mostly coming from? How is the division between, let's say, local students and international students? Uh, the, the growth is coming from, from both of those categories. Uh, we converted it to an English language program uh, four years ago. That was actually the trigger. So before we had 0%, in the bachelor at least. Uh, now it's over 50%. So the, the ratio has, has shifted to, well, this is the highest percentage, but also the number of Dutch students has more than doubled since, since that change to English. They evidently also think that this is a sign of quality and they want to, to be able to work in an international setting. Uh, being taught in English is one, one factor in that. Yeah, English students or foreign students is very important for us. For the whole faculty, it's now 40%, both for bachelor and for master. What we already see in the bachelor that let's say that the, 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 the number of Dutch students is, is, is stagnating, stabilizing. So in the, in, the, in the future, we will be more depending on international students in the bachelor. In the master, we can still grow in terms of participation grade of Dutch students, but it's already 40%. And uh, there we also are improving our programs with the aim to attract both more national and international students. Um, if I may, may add to that, yeah. because we are dependent on international students, I think we should realize that society is also yeah. dependent on the international students that we manage to, to make graduate in subtopics like computer science, because there's a huge demand. It cannot be met only by the, those with Dutch uh, origin. We are making plans, but it is difficult to plan. Uh, so you see, we, we now saw that computer science is the rising star in terms, in terms of numbers. Uh, we now see that India is, is, is a country from which we are receiving a, a large group of students. But that can and will change over time. And we do, we do not know where, when and how, but it will change. But the ambition is at least for us to, to maintain this level of, of student inflow and where we will be successful and where a little bit less, we do not know, but we'll see then. So it's not everything can be predicted and prepared in detail. So then in the meantime, how have you dealt with the growth that has happened? So specifically, for example, this year? Yeah, uh, we invested, we are investing already a lot in the last five years, but we have to do that with extra effort in uh, uh, now, since uh, the computer science is growing fast, but we invested in extra academic staff, extra teaching staff, extra support staff for education, extra facilities, mentoring. So there's a whole range of, of, of measures that we are taking. But the point is, every next year we are growing faster than the year before. So sometimes, I don't know, Aaron, without you, it's a kind of continuous catching up uh, game that we are playing. Yeah, exponential trends yeah. always stop somewhere. But uh, yeah. so what we want is to uphold the quality yeah. that we had. We were a top-rated computer science program for two years in a row. Uh, that was partially because of our small scale, because the ability of students to talk directly to teachers. That's the quality you want to retain. Yeah. But of course, it can only be retained if you size up with the number of students. So we are hiring staff now. We're very seriously looking into getting better or more rooms of the kind that we need. And especially, we're also dividing up this huge group, group of 300 uh, freshmen into smaller groups that, that we call houses, so where, where they actually meet the same people over and over again. So they are in a group of maybe 74 strangers, but the same strangers and not 299 strangers. So far we have been able to manage the growth within the, the given limitations of the infrastructure that we have. But uh, we will not be able to do so in the coming few years, given these ambitions and given also the, these investments that we intend to do. And that means that um, we already see that we have to share uh, uh, the, the, the spaces, available spaces for different purposes and, and that we are now trying to squeeze everything in. But it is from the viewpoint of our faculty that we desperately need to invest in extra capacity for staff housing, for research laboratoria and for teaching facilities. Uh, we, we, we cannot do without. Yeah, I'd say we're not we're crowded. We're not overcrowded right yeah, now, but exactly. we can see it coming. Yeah. Uh, but because we see it coming, of course, we we, we are looking for solutions. Mm -hmm. um, and I'm confident, yeah, unless we experience another doubling next year, that that we can we can cope. Uh, we are we are sizing up in in staff. We are sizing up in in uh, room facilities. Yeah. 
Um, there have been two instances, I think, where students went had to go to the cinema for a lecture, but we keep try to keep that to a very bare minimum. We have to remain listening to the students and together with them uh, provide our education. And of course, and that's also one of the reasons of this interview, but we have to be realistic in what we offer. And let's say crowdedness can have a negative term, but let's say a, a vibrant campus, let's say with a lot of activity, that, that is what we envisage. And indeed, but the, the, the education should be high quality and personalized when needed, and we intend to offer that. But we can do so, we can scale up, yeah, and it's up to our, our program directors as, as soon as they say to us, well, 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 this is beyond control, <laughs> then we have an issue, but we have not yet heard any of this from, from any of them. I think, I think students, we tell them, of course, that we are doing uh, what we're doing to uh, make sure they, they can study here well, and they are aware of the fact that we, we uh, take every measure to, to give them uh, their own opportunities. So far, I haven't heard uh, uh, negative sounds. Uh, ask me again in a month. <laughs> <laughs> then we'll do another one in a month, eh? That's fine. <laughs>